This has affected me in every way. I'm not doing well at all. I've been unable to exercise for almost a year. I get short of breath climbing the stairs in Sharuk. The lack of any activity has made my life seem pointless. I've had no work for 14 months now, despite asking many times. I'm just stuck in a cell all day and night. We saw on the news hundreds dying each day, and they were still bringing in new remands. We heard that thousands of prisoners were to be released early, and then it just didn't happen. I was recalled to prison for apparently breaking the rules by helping my elderly grandparents from a distance. And I'll cry for no reason, get very upset with things. I feel very down a lot of the time. Not knowing anything while stuck in your cell is crazy. I can't explain how bad things are getting in my head. Lots of people have had family members die, so are struggling to cope. My biggest concern is dying. Covid spreads easily in the environment we are living in. My mental and emotional well-being is suffering massively. I've started talking to myself and walking in circles like a tortured animal in a cage. What has been the most difficult? Finding accommodation for someone on release. People with mental health conditions have been affected the most. The quality of contact with prisoners has got worse. Prison leavers accessing basic essentials. Social distancing measures has made resettlement work more challenging. What has worked well? Funding for homeless prison leavers. Mobile phones provided to those without. The DWP phone line. Extra phone minutes for prisoners. Increased level of engagement from service users. Purple visits family video calls. Focuses for the future. We need a guarantee that everyone leaving prison has somewhere safe and secure to live. Communication with family, friends and support staff is vital. We need far better tools in prison and on release. Everyone leaving prison needs immediate access to basic essentials to have the best chance at a new start. As at January 2021, there have been 10,354 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in prison, probation and youth custody. 126 prisons or youth custody sites have had positive cases of COVID-19. 36 HMPPS staff have died having tested positive for COVID-19. Prisoners have been spending around 23 hours locked in their cells every day for almost 12 months. We have called for Vaccinations in prisons as a priority. Reinstatement of an expanded early release scheme to reduce numbers and reduce strain on prisons. Support for those being released, including safe and secure housing. We continue to make these calls.